Hello everybody and welcome to the Marvel A to Z series here on the Richard's Realm channel. In this series we'll be looking at the characters throughout the Marvel Universe, looking into their powers, story history, allies and enemies. There'll be some big names you've heard of and some you may not, as well as some weird and wonderful creations throughout Marvel's history. I'm going to start off with a shout out to Marvel Boy and Safiq for their comments on last week's video. And now let's get right into it with this episode, the letter G. Posing as Satan, Mephisto approached motorcycle stuntman Johnny Blaze and agreed to cure Johnny's mentor Crash Simpson of a fatal disease. Soon after, Crash died performing a stunt and Mephisto bonded the demon Zarathos to Blaze's body, transforming him into the demonic Ghost Rider. Blaze was temporarily freed from the curse when Zarathos was trapped in a crystal of souls but this was far from the end of the Ghost Rider. Johnny later met Danny Ketch, who had become the new Ghost Rider after being cursed by a mysterious motorcycle. Blaze and Ketch learned that they were brothers, each of them with their own demon. Johnny was once more bonded with Zarathos and became the Ghost Rider again, pursuing the demon Lucifer. Wishing to be rid of the Ghost Rider, Johnny cut a deal with Adam, the first man and creator of sin. Blaze's spirit of vengeance ended up in a young woman, Alejandra. Adam forced Alejandra to eliminate sin in her home country by turning the people mindless. Realising his mistake, Johnny tried to stop them from eradicating all sin on earth and Alejandra broke free of Adam's control just in time. Johnny mentored Alejandra in the use of her powers but she proved to be a headstrong student and raced off to stop the incursion of hell in Las Vegas, but instead she activated it. Johnny joined Red Hulk, Venom and X-23 to stop this, but they were all killed and sent to hell. But by working together in hell, Johnny was able to stop Alejandra and took back the powers of the Ghost Rider. Johnny, along with his fellow Midnight Sons, teamed up with Doctor Strange to defeat Mephisto, and a clever ploy by Johnny saw Mephisto disposed of, and Johnny became the new king of hell. Groot is the last known member of the alien species called the Flora Colossi, once thought to be all extinct. He was exiled from his home after refusing to take part in his people's brutal treatment of other races. Groot eventually ended up in prison, where he joined Star-Lord's prototype Guardians of the Galaxy to fight the second Annihilation Wave. He gave his life to stop the Phalanx, and his body was mostly destroyed but a small twig of him split off and Rocket Raccoon regrew him. Groot developed a strong bond with Rocket, who was one of the few creatures who could understand his language. While accompanying Rocket in the Stolad Ring, Groot was attacked by the Elder of the Universe known as the Gardener. Claiming that Groot had been corrupted by the Guardians and deviated from his destructive purpose, the Gardener shattered Groot. Rocket managed to escape the splinter of Groot which he subsequently planted so he could regrow his body. However, the gardener used Groot's remains for the same purpose,
planting a garden of twisted manic flora colossus, whose growth prevented the original Groot from growing bigger than a sapling. The Guardians of the Galaxy eventually caught notice of the Gardener's use of his army of flora colossus and faced them on the planet Telferia. During the battle, Groot managed to get close to the Gardener and used his healing powers to purify the Elder's body of the poison which had driven him mad. In return, the Elder used his abilities to restore Groot's body, and also restored his locution, allowing him to speak in full sentences, albeit in the third person. And now it's that time where we look at a weird and wonderful creation from the Marvel Universe, and today, it's Gorilla Man. The legends say that if you kill the Gorilla Man, you become immortal. When forced to commit this act, Ken Hale discovered that immortality came with the cost of becoming the Gorilla Man he had killed. In the 1950s, Ken worked with a superhuman group called the G-Men under Jimmy Woo. Decades later, he became an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and joined the superhuman version of the Howling Commandos who launched an assault on a doomsday cult that was utilising technology brought from the Lords of the Living Lightning. He was also part of Domino's Mercs for Money, and rescued Nomura during the secret invasion. Gorilla Man has since reunited with his G-Men friends to fight the Atlas Foundation. So that wraps up this video. Please hit that like button and if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to write me a comment of your favourite character starting with the letter G and you might get a shout out in the next video.